derivative of the following. So the first part of this equation is pretty simple. 1 over pi is a constant, so the derivative of this is just 0. Plus, so what's next here is we can use the quotient rule. There's a couple things we could do, but we'll use the quotient rule. So we'll take the derivative of the top times the bottom. Derivative of the bottom times the top over the bottom squared. So we end up with the derivative of the top is just 0. So this becomes 0 times x squared plus 1. Cancels out. Minus 2 times 2x. And the derivative of 1 is just 0. So we get 4x. So negative 4x over x squared plus 1 squared. So that's the final solution. Uh, just real quick, we probably could have rewritten 2 over x squared plus 1. This equation is done. This is the derivative. But I'll just show you something you could have done, or we could have done, I could have done. Okay. So the derivative of this is you pull down the 1, so you get uh, 2 times negative 1. And then you take the derivative of the inside here, which is just going to be 2x. And then you subtract 1 from the exponent, so it becomes negative 2. Well, this right here is equal to negative 4x. And then if you want to make the negative exponent positive, you just put it on the bottom. And you get the same thing. These are the same. So that's just another way to do it. All right. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video. And I will see you next time.